BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of His word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be His disciples, and after His death and resurrection, those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now, after 2,000 years, Beth Goyim Messianic Congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. When a baby is born, cuando un niño nace, or a family comes to know the Lord, o una familia viene a conocer al Señor, in a messianic way, en una forma messianica, they might want to become part of the house of Israel. Ellos deben de venir a ser parte de la casa de Israel. Going on to the next slide, becoming part of the house of Israel, we find in Exodus 1. Para venir a ser parte de la casa de Israel y encontramos esto en Éxodo 1. That you must become part of one of these tribes. Debes de venir a ser parte de una de esas tribus. To get into heaven, you must be part of one of the tribes. Para entrar al cielo, debes ser parte de una de las tribus. And there you see it in Exodus 1, verse 2 through uh, 4. Y ve, puedes leer en Éxodo 1, del versículo 1 al versículo 4. You have Re Reuben, Shimon, Levi, Yehuda, Issachar, Zebulon, Benjamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. Okay? So you mm -hmm. have to become part of one of these tribes. Tienes que venir a ser parte de una de estas tribus. It's nothing to cry about. No es nada por qué llorar. It's pero. relatively easy. Es relativamente fácil. And painful if you're a boy. Y caro si eres, y doloroso si eres un Going on un to the next barrio. slide. If we're to keep the, the Shabbat. Si vamos a mantener, a guardar el Shabbat. Like we're to keep the Shabbat holy no matter where you live, right? Como mantén el, el sábado santo no importa donde estés. Then do not all the rules of Torah apply. Entonces todas las leyes de, de la, la Torá son aplicadas. Does not the king know the beginning from the end? Y no sabe el, el rey desde el principio a fin. Did not God know that Jews would be living outside of Israel? No sabía el Señor que los judíos iban a estar este, fuera de Israel. Did he not know that we would be out of the house for 2,000 years? No sabía el que íbamos a, no, íbamos a estar fuera de la tierra, eh, en, de la casa de más de 2,000 años. So the question is, Entonces, la pregunta if we're to es, keep the Shabbat holy, si vamos a mantener el sábado santo, do we have to keep the other rules? And the answer is yes. Debemos de mantener las otras reglas y la respuesta es sí. In Leviticus 23, en Levíticos 23, in verse 14, en el versículo 14. Verse 21. En el versículo 21. In verse 31. Y en el 31. God says something. No matter where you live. El Señor dice algo. Dice no importa donde vivas. Through all your generations, oh Yom, forever. Por todas las generaciones. Okay. No matter where you live. No importa donde vivas. So if we're to keep the Shabbat holy. Así que si vamos a mantener el sábado. Then santo, we're to keep the rest of the rules. Entonces vamos a mantener el resto de las reglas. So if this applies to the holy days, it applies to all the rules. Pues esto aplica a los días santos y a todas las reglas. Next uh, slide. In Ezekiel 48. En Ezequiel 48. When the New Jerusalem comes down out of heaven. Cuando la Nueva Jerusalén descienda del cielo. We don't see the American gate. No estamos viendo lo, los portones americanos. We don't see the Jamaican gate. Tampoco estamos viendo el portón jamaicano. We don't see the Dominican gate. Thank goodness. <laughs> no estamos viendo el portón dominicano. We certainly don't see the Puerto Rican gate. Y ciertamente tampoco el portón The Irish americano. gate, the English gate. Los irlandeses o los uh, ingleses. We still see the 12 tribes of Israel. Pero si vemos las 12 tribus de Israel. So what door are you going to go into? Entonces, ¿a cuál puerta vas tú a entrar? If you're not part of the house of Israel. Si no eres parte de la casa de Israel. That means you're not going to be getting in. Entonces, quiere que no vas a de ser dejado entrar. Because you can only go in through your gate. Porque solo puedes entrar por tu puerta. Going on to the next slide. 
En la próxima página. In the book of Bamidbar, Numbers chapter 15. En Bamidbar, Números 15. It says, for the community there will be the same law for the Jew and the Gentile. Dice que para la comunidad va a ser la misma regla para el judío y el gentil. The same law. La misma ley. God said, I want one people. El Señor dice, quiero un pueblo. With different job functions. Con funciones diferentes de trabajo. Verse 16. En el versículo 16. The same Torah and standard of judgment will apply to both you and the Goyim living with you. Amen. Amen. Are we living amongst the Jews? ¿Y vivimos alrededor de judíos? Yes, we are. Sí, lo hacemos. Because Yeshua said in Matthew 28. Porque Yeshua dijo en Mateo 28. All authority in heaven and on earth dijo, has been given to me. Dijo toda autoridad se me es dada en los cielos y en la tierra. So a Jew owns the world. Así que si un judío eh, es Look, dueño Jews de todo el mundo. Así que los judíos están acá. So when they say all the Jews own everything, you say you're correct. Así que cuando digan que los judíos son dueños de todo, dices, estás en lo correcto. And his name is Yeshua. Y su nombre es Yeshua. Going on to the next slide. Hmm. We see the same Torah. Y puedes ver la misma Torah. It's for the Jew and the Gentile. Por, para el judío y el gentil. There you see the word for, for ger is a singular Gentile. Y la palabra ger es, es el gentil en singular. And when you have a multiple Gentiles, you have goyim. Y para gentil, gentiles en plural eh, dices going. So one law for everybody. Es una ley para todos. In Romans 11, the next slide. En Romanos 11. You see Paul writing about being engrafted into puedes, the house of Israel. Puedes ver que Pablo está hablando de ser eh, injertado a la casa de Israel. Next slide. Okay, some of the Jews were broken off for disobedience. Algunos de los judíos han sido quitados por desobediencia. But you Gentiles are grafted into the house of Israel. Pero tú gentil has sido injertado a la casa de Israel. So if God broke off some of his natural branches. Así que el Señor ha quitado algunas de las ramas naturales. Then why, would he go, why is he going to let the Gentiles in to do nothing? Así que por qué entonces va a dejar al gentil hacer nada. It's not that hard, honey. No es tan difícil. Next slide. Okay. Let's skip that slide. Next slide. A promise. Una promesa. Now David has already done the promise. David ya hizo la promesa. Because he dedicated his family a while ago. Porque él dedicó su familia hace un tiempo. The promise is something called a neder in Hebrew. Promesa es una palabra en hebreo que se dice neder. A vow, a votive offering, a promise. Una promesa, un voto, una alianza. So you have to promise when you first come in to be part of the house of Israel you have to give an offering. Haces la promesa la primera vez que vienes a ser parte y tienes que dar una ofrenda. Going on to the next slide. In Numbers chapter 30, en Números 30, a promise that a man makes cannot be broken. Una promesa que haga un hombre no debe de ser rota. His wife can't break his promise. La, su esposa puede romper su promesa. His children can't break his promise. Sus hijos pueden hacerlo. It's very important when a man makes a promise before the Lord. Eh, ellos, no, ellos no pueden romper su promesa es muy importante cuando un hombre hace una promesa that he keep his word let your yes be yes and your no be no es como dijo el Señor que tu sí sea sí que tu no sea no now David has already done this with the rest of his family but today he's going to be dedicating his daughter David ha hecho esto cuando dedicó a su familia pero ahora va a dedicar a su hija the Lord has given him a princess el Señor le ha dado una princesa and I'm sure she's running the house y estoy 100% seguro que él, está, que él maneja su casa. A promise is made with your mouth as we see in the book of Ruth. La promesa puede ser hecha eh, por, por eh, dicha con la boca. Y podemos ver the next en, slide we look at the book Ruth. of Ruth. Podemos ver esto en Ruth. In Ruth chapter 1. Ruth 1. Verse 16 and 17. Versos 16 y 17. Now Mia, turn around and face that way and see if you can do it again. She amazed me the other day. She knew this whole passage by heart. Nice and loud. Face away so everybody knows that you're, you've got it memorized. Nice and loud, like you're yelling at, at Lev. But Ruth said, don't press me to leave you or stop following you. For wherever you go, I will go. And wherever you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Where you die, I will die and there I'll be buried. May only bring terrible curses on me as well, if anything but death separates you and me. Amen. 
Ruth the Moabite became a Jew at that point. Ruth la Moabita se hizo judía en ese momento. By making a promise, a vow to the Lord. Por hacer esta promesa un voto ante el Señor. Okay, going on to the next slide. In Leviticus. En Levítico. Chapter 27. En el capítulo 27. Okay, there's a price that has to be paid. Hay un precio que tiene que ser pagado. Okay, a very small amount of money. Es una cantidad pequeña. Because silver was the, the trading value of that day. Porque la plata era la, el, lo que se manejaba en aquel momento. And it goes through in chapter 27 how much you have to pay and David has already done this except for his newborn daughter. Y durante, en, esa, en esa porción ya se, se dice que es lo que se, que se debe de pagar y ya David había hecho esto. Ok, y we go on to the next slide, we see how many shekels and David has already done this. Puedes ver en el Levítico 27 todo, qué cantidad de dinero se debe de pagar, ya David pasó todo esto. We go on to the last slide there, 27 verse 5 and 6. Podemos ver en, en Levítico 27 versículo 5 y 6. Ok, en verse 6. En el versículo 6. A baby one month to five years of age, five shekels for a boy and three for a girl. Mm -hmm. Ok. Amen. In verse, chapter 27, Leviticus 27, verse 6 says, three for a little girl. Dice que en el versículo 6 que son tres para una niña. The shekel today is 28 cents per y el, y el está compared a, to the dollar. Comparado con el dólar, el shekel está a, a 28 centavos. So because we're doing the shekels, y como estamos haciendo por el shekel. David, you're going to need 85 cents. 28, 28, 28, 16. Okay, you're going to be uh, like a dollar, okay? Va a ser alrededor de un dólar. Okay, for that daughter, para esa niña, you're going to pay a dollar to, for her to become part of the house of Israel. Vas a pagar un dólar para ser parte de la casa de Israel. You got the dollar. Tienes el and dólar. And a dream. <laughs> okay, next slide. <laughs> Skipping the next slide. Okay, David has already done the firstborn, so we're going to skip over that. También David ya ha presentado su primogénito, así que vamos a... And he a... did that in 2015. All right, going on. Now, becoming part of the house of Israel, Ahora birth of a baby, how much time? Ahora para ser parte de la casa de Israel, ¿qué tanto tiempo? Going on to the next slide. Leviticus chapter 12. Leviticus 12. Verse 1 through 4. De los versos 1 al 4. It talks about if you have a boy. Dice si tienes un niño. How long you have to stay outside the congregation. Que tanto tiempo debes de estar fuera de la congregación. That means you don't go shopping either. You stay inside. You stay away from people for 40 days. 40 days. Eh, y explica que debes de estar no no debes de salir y estar durante las personas. Sin Seven days for your uncleanliness. Cerrado por 40 días. And an additional 33 that makes 40. Y en la primera semana y una adición de, de 33 días. Ok. Going on to the next slide. Now for a girl. Ahora para por ser niña. Let's read what Heidi had to go through. Vamos a leer lo que Heidi tuvo que pasar. Leviticus 12, verse 5. En Levíticos 12, verso 5. But if she gives birth to a girl, she would be unclean for two weeks. That's 14 days if you don't understand. As in her neda, and she is to wait another 66 days to be purified from her blood. Amen. Amen. Okay, so she's going to be breastfeeding. Ella va a estar amamantando. If mom gets sick, si la madre se enferma, baby gets sick. La bebé también se enferma. Because she will pass the virus on to the baby. Porque ella va a pasarle el virus a la bebé. And in a little girl, y en una niña, in a little Sarai right now, en Sarai ahora mismo, is every child she might ever have. Están todos los hijos que ella va a tener. And it's very important for the first 80 days. Y es muy importante por esos ocho, primeros that she, 80 días. That she be separated. Que ella esté separada. Because you don't want to cook the eggs. Porque no quieres cocinar esos esas, esas esos huevos. Okay, esos, it's esos very ovulos. important to have those eggs inside of her. Es importante esos óvulos que tiene ella dentro. To be kept as good as possible. Mantener lo mejor posible. And during the 80 days there's a lot of growing and strengthening of the immune system. Y en esos 80 días hay un gran crecimiento de su sistema inmunológico. Especially if the baby is being breastfed, which everybody should do, except for men. Especialmente para eh, eh, en la nutrición de, de amamantar a los niños que todas las mujeres deben de hacer. If you're breastfeeding, you're a woman. Y si crees que eres un hombre pero estás amamantando, eres una mujer. Okay, so after days of purification are over. Yes, yeah, he said that. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay. 
When the days of purification are over, y cuando tus días de purificación se, se han acabado, she can then come into the sanctuary. Entonces ya puedes venir al santuario. After those 80 days are over, después que esos 80 días se terminen. Heidi, are you happy to be back? ¿Estás feliz de regresar? Yes, she says. 80 days. 80 días. Going on to the next slide. Próximo. Okay. Days of purification are now over. Los días de la purificación se han acabado. Okay. Now, Leviticus 12, mm -hmm. verse 6 through 8. I'm going to read it. En Levíticos 12, de versos 6 al 8. When the days of her purification are over, whether for a son or for a daughter, she is to bring a lamb in its first year for a burnt offering, and a young pigeon or dove for a sin offering, to the entrance of the tent of meeting, to the Kohen. He will offer it before Jehovah and make atonement for her, Thus she will be purified from her discharge of blood. Such is the law for a woman who gives birth, whether for, to a boy or a girl. If she can't afford a lamb, she should take two doves or two young pigeons, one for burnt offering and another for a sin offering. The coal will make atonement for her and she will be clean. Going on to the next slide. We see in verse 6. En el verso 6 podemos ver. The burnt offering is not burnt up to the Lord. It is an ola offering. La ofrenda quemada no es eh, eh, calcinada para el Señor, es una ofrenda que sube. Okay, we, we triple and quadruple check this with the leadership this week. Con el liderazgo eh, vimos eh, varias veces y analizamos el okay. versículo. Okay, it's an Ola offering, so it means it's going to be eaten by the Cohen who is presenting it before the Lord. Y esta, esta ofrenda quiere decir que se va, va a ser comida por el, el liderazgo que presenta esto al Señor. So, I, we're not cooking you. Vamos a cocinar este. Okay. <laughs> She's a talkative one. Going on to the next slide. La próxima página. Okay, and there you see other reference to burnt offerings. Keyword is burnt offerings mean it's going to be eaten. Y dice aquí hay alguna, algunas referencias de esto y refiriéndose que la ofrenda quemada eh, debe de ser comida. Next slide. Okay. Verse 6 again. El versículo 6 de nuevo. For a son or a daughter, you have to bring some sort of lamb. Para el, el para la niña o la niña debes de traer algo de, de cordero. We know everybody's not rich. Sabemos que no todos son ricos. Okay, so we're at least doing a portion of the lamb. Y por lo menos estamos haciendo una porción del cordero. Because even a small lamb's going to cost you a couple of hundred bucks. Porque uh, aunque sea pequeño el cordero te va a costar cientos de dólares. But it's got to be eaten. Pero debe ser comido. Okay, going on to the next slide. Look at verse 8 of Leviticus 12. Y de Levíticos 12 es el versículo 8. If she can't afford a lamb, she has to take two doves or young pigeons, the one for an, a burnt offering and the other for a sin offering. The cone will make atonement for her and she will be clean. Amen? Amen. Amen. So uh, pigeons are very hard to find and doves are very hard to find. Impossible. Este, las, los... Las palomas son difíciles de, de, de encontrar. And you don't want one from New York City. Y no quieres esto, esos pichones de, de New York. you don't want to eat that. Porque no quieres comer. Or touch that. Ni siquiera tocar. Okay, because you got to offer the Lord something good. Porque debes de ofrende, ofre, ofrecerle al Señor algo bueno. So we're going to go with dove chocolate. Así que estamos aceptando los, las palomas esas de chocolate. We're going to take it into only four pieces. Only four pieces. I'll tell you why later. Only four pieces, so take it out of the bag and take four pieces out. Okay? Going on to the next slide. Okay? We've already, he's already done the firstborn son. Y ya ha tenido el varón. Okay? So now, let me just see if there's anything else. Okay, now. All right, we're done with that. Okay, I'm going to escape out of that. Now, David, why don't you come up with the whole family? Por favor, David, pasa adelante con toda la familia. What David is going to do? Lo que David va a hacer. He's going to make a promise. Él va a hacer una promesa. A Shavuah. Él va a hacer un Shavuah. Okay, because he's already made a vow before the Lord. Porque ya él hizo el neder, el, 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 la promesa delante del Señor. Okay. Stay right there. I'll come out there in a second. Okay. He's going to make a Shavuah before the Lord. Va a hacer un Shavuah delante del Señor. He's going to promise before everybody él va a prometer de frente a todo el mundo that he's going to bring up his daughter que va a traer a su hija in the ways of the Torah en los caminos de la Torah he's going to promise before everybody él va a hacer una promesa delante de todo el mundo he's going to teach his daughter about Yeshua our Messiah 
él le va a enseñar a su hija sobre nuestro Mesías Yeshua. And then we're going to lift the, the baby up to the Lord. Y entonces vamos a levantar la bebé al Señor. And dedicate her life. Y dedicar su vida. Because her parents have made a Shavuah promise. Porque su padre han hecho un Shavuah, una promesa. I'm going to do uh, this one. Why don't you guys come over here? Hello, you're so talkative. Hello, baby. Hello. You are definitely a Vicente. <laughs> you have got daddy's face. Uh-huh. You're just sticking your tongue out at me? Is she your sister? Does she sleep all night long? No? She still wakes up in the room like, wah! You wake me up. Do you love your sister? Do you love your sister? All right. Now, David, hold this microphone. <coughs> Turn to your family, your mishpucha. Amen. David, David, do you promise before your family prometes en frente de tu familia to bring up Sarai? Brindando en frente a Sarai. Do you call her Sarai or Sarai? Sarai. In the ways of Torah, if you do, say Amen. Amen. What? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Did, did you hear him back there, David? David, did you hear him? Felix, did you hear what David said? No? Oh, okay. What, will you bring Sarai, Sarai, uh, Sarai up in the ways of Torah, David? Amen. All right. Amen. He has made a promise, a Shabuah, before the Lord. Prometido, hecho una promesa delante del Señor. David, do you promise... To teach your daughter about our Messiah, Yeshua. If you do, say amen. 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 Translate that in Spanish. David, prometes enseñarle la Torah a tu hija y traerla delante de Yeshua. Amen. Amen. He has now promised before us the witnesses. Yeah. You are Jehovah's witnesses. Y él está prometiendo ahora delante de los testigos. Y ustedes son... Testigos de Jehová. And we're keeping the Sabbath too. Y guardamos el sábado. The reason is. La razón es. If David breaks his vow. Si David rompe su promesa. If we were living in community. Si estamos viviendo en comunidad. We could then stone him to death. Entonces podríamos apedrearlo hasta morir. Because only God can break his vow and God won't break his vow. Porque solo Dios puede romper su promesa y Dios no no rompe promesas. Because we try to do everything according to Torah. Porque intentamos hacer todo de acuerdo a la Torah. Now David, have you brought the lamb? David, ¿has traído el cordero? Yes, sí. Okay. Okay, we're going to only take two. Uh, we got four of the dove bars. Okay, we're going to lift this before the Lord. Vamos a levantar eso hacia el Señor. Uh, qué rico. And we're going to lift this to the Lord. Levantamos esto al Señor. In accordance with your word, Lord. De acuerdo a tu palabra, Señor. David Vicente has brought. David Vicente ha traído. The offerings according to Torah. La ofrenda de acuerdo a la Torah. We wave them before you as as your Cohen. Y la mecemos hacia ti como tu sacerdote. In accordance with your word. De acuerdo a tu palabra. Now we're going to lift up Sar Sarai. Ahora vamos a levantar a Sarai. Hello. Hello, lady. It's bigger than daddy's. <laughs> She's getting crushed by the beard. Let's all pray. Vamos a orar. Thank you, Lord, for Sarai. Gracias, Señor, por Sarai. We, th we thank you for her life. Te agradecemos por su vida. We thank you for bringing a princess into the Vicente's house. Te agradecemos por traer esa princesa a la casa Vicente. We thank you for her life. Te agradecemos por su vida. And we ask you to bless her. Y te pedimos que la bendiga. And guide her. Y que la guíes. And strengthen her. Y le des fortaleza. And keep her on a narrow path. Y que la mantenga en tu camino estrecho. May your face always shine upon her. Que tu rostro siempre brille en, en ella. And guide her. 
que la guíe. All the days of her life. Todos los días de su vida. And one day, y que un día, when she leaves this life, cuando ella parta de este mundo, de esta vida, and she comes back home to your house, y ella regrese a casa, allá en, en cielo, may you say to her, que le puedas decir, from your lips, Yeshua, de tus labios, Yeshua, well done, my good and faithful servant. Bien hecho, mi sierva fiel. In your name, Yeshua. En el nombre de Yeshua. Amen. Amen. We present to you. Les presentamos a todos. The princess of the Vicente house. La princesa de la casa Vicente. Sarai. Sarai. Vicente. Vicente. Amen. 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 Let's give her back to mom. A lot of dress there. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Welcome back home. Bienvenida. Mazel tov. Give me a hug there in Mona Nuts. Mazel tov, David. Mazel tov. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Oh, wait. He's got the offering. Almost forgot the offering. Woo, it's a dollar. Okay. Amen. And before the Lord. Delante del Señor. And before you, David has given... So that Sarai can be part of the house of Israel. Amen. 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 Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to the Remnants Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, BethGoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. If you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. Shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture, truly the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend the day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially 
News from the Holy Land Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close this Shabbat together with a reading of the new week's parasha. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, Many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical holy day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, YESHUA. Shalom.